Hey guys, what's up? My name is Snipe and Ray or Snipe and Ray Pro, it's up to you. And today we're here doing a video, uh, a top 5 video, why not? Of the 5 things that most probably everyone hates in GTA 5. So if you do enjoy this video at any point or if you find anything here interesting, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content, even though it's not daily, they'll maybe weekly. So, today I'm going to do this video, and I'm probably going to do this on another video, a bit more silent video sort of thing. Today, or either tomorrow, one of those two days, I guess. Uh, and I think the second one is actually going to be pretty fun, depending on what we find on GT Online, which, obviously, we can find a lot of stuff, um, and some of them are not too bad. So, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so this is my personal favorite, or personal thing I most hate on GTA 5. It's without kind of with the loading time when you try to find a new session and to see what it comes up with. So shout out to everyone in the session and I don't care. Um, but this is what it comes up with. A session with pretty much just four people. Normally just one person, three people, whatever. Every time you try to find a new session it takes about five minutes to load up the screen, uh, load up the session and you do it on a session with four people. Good luck trying to kill some people. Okay, so after trying to find a lot of sessions, you come up to a, a very big session. Now imagine you're trying to solve someone. And you're in a shot with three people and one of them is your friend and the other one is just, well, someone you're trying to troll. That happened to me quite a couple of times. And this happens. I need to send him a message, but he's not online on his phone, in this case Facebook, imagine. And I want to open up the contacts. So imagine I'm going to look for this guy called... Well, imagine Adam, why not? So my friend's not here right now, so I can not really display that to you. But imagine I want to find Adam. So I have to go all the way down here. Oh, well, apparently I found him pretty soon. But imagine your friend is all the way down here, and you have to just go down, down, so many times until you find him. The bad thing is, Rockstar doesn't uh, help out, like, put friends, and then just other people which is kind of annoying in my opinion probably hate it probably not but when you're trying to uh, troll someone it actually is not really helpful so that's number four now together with number four is also the amount of job lists now imagine you're just walking around and you need to open your phone up to imagine go to the internet but you only want to open it imagine you want to open it at some point like this time Oh, god damn it, stupid missions, and I just have to click again instead of doing this. Now, it's just something that I normally hate that happens to me, so let's go to number three. Alright, now, my third thing that kind of most hate, there's a lot of things that I hate about GTA 5, so the third thing in this list is people that do this. They have a microphone in a session. Literally, you're just joining. Uh, you're just gonna join a session. I don't know if there's anyone speaking. Let me just quickly check. As you can see, there's no one speaking. But imagine there's someone just randomly in a session with a microphone on. They don't realize it probably, or they just there with your microphone on. Now imagine you want to try to find some people for a crew or a hike, whatever, and you see someone with a microphone. You leave your party. You're gonna say, "Hey, what's up?" Ollie here. Uh, I have a song on right now, so this all you hear is this. Not the song, obviously, but for a long amount of time, you're just gonna hear someone with music on, mostly gangster music, why not? Like 50 Cent or just techno, whatever. And you're just gonna hear them with the microphone on, and you're like, hey! Hey, can you hear me? Yo! Oh! Can you hear me? Hey! And they just literally don't hear. I, I don't really know if they're like in weed, like smoking weed there with the GTA Online on. That makes sense. And just listening to music. I mean, you completely forget about GTA 5. Or, I really don't know, but it's kind of annoying because you're trying to find some people for a crew and there's just someone with no microphone. Also, configuring with that of uh, people annoying with their songs on, is kids. Annoying kids. 
Yeah. Oh uh, no. Still on the uh, talk of shit. Oh wait, this is a good one. Okay, this is the AFK one where you're just AFK as well, and someone just randomly kills you. Now, this kid is probably gonna try to kill me. And this shit happens. No, I showed the wrong weapon. I should have showed this one. But this happens. Uh. Yeah. You're AFK, and someone just noticed you. You're just standing there. I normally do this when I'm trying to kill some people. But they just notice you're there, and they're like, run him over. That's like an order, just run him over. And you're just like, really? I just got run over? Wow. Um. Yeah. Alright, so now number two is a pretty simple one that kind of pisses me off most of the times. You want to do bounty hunting, um, because obviously is something that you like to do. Now bounty hunting, this also goes for people that try to kill you as soon as you get out of your garage with explosives or a tank or whatever you want. This is people that pretty much just are kids who just uh, stand outside someone's garage waiting for them to get out and bang bang now I used to do this like at the first times I was playing GTA 5 I think because I wanted to get some kills and this happened I do this to my friends actually uh, but now the Karuma, my friend only drives the Karuma so there's no point in doing it unless I got a lot of money but then again imagine you're just gonna stay outside here and <laughs> Now, the reason I killed this guy, uh, no offense to him, but he had a bounty on him. I don't know if you forgot about that. Uh, but he kind of had a bounty on him. I don't want to kill anyone right now, I'm not in the mood for that. But this happens. Now, the video was supposed to be something different. Um, and I'm just going to tell you, I haven't got no proof in him, but... It's when people get out, get in the session, notice they have a bounty, and they're like, Oh shit, I got a bounty. And then they just leave the session. Literally, they just leave the session because they have a bounty. Um, you're trying to do bounty hunting and you just completely fail because of that. So, if you do have those kind of s enter those kind of situations where someone has a bounty and they just leave, then make sure one thing you do is, I don't know, just really up to you. <laughs> um, I don't know if this kid is going to try to kill me or not. And then this is this. There's this. Those moments where the person just turns into passive. Now, this card costs nothing. <laughs> so close to killing him. Well, how much money do I have on me? 7,000. Oh, cheers. Now, this is also another thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. This is number one, babies. The moment when someone just goes off massive mode, just to say, Hello, I kill you, you're dead, whatever, I killed you. I know what that person trying to do. I literally don't. But yeah, this happens, someone just uh, is in passive mode, just goes around you, like pretending not to be anything, I was actually busy by the cops, but then they should Pick you as this fucking assault shotgun and just wreck you the crap out of. So, yeah, congratulations to all those people who do that. You are some hated people. Now, I'm gonna send a message to this dragon and I'm gonna ask him for a 1v1 because I didn't like that. But anyway, out of everything else, just have fun. I hope you guys had fun on this video and I'll keep making. Oh shit! Yeah, also those moments when you realize that the fall is actually too big and then you just fucking fail then then these there's these people who ch just pick up a weapon on you and that's something I don't like to so that's why I kill him so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video of people I hate on GTA 5 now here's something else normally when you kill someone you get the cops on you good day cops walks off so again I'm sorry that this is a live video so that's why there's a lot of commentary uh, 
a live commentary basically, obviously. Ooh, this guy's gonna hammer. I'm pretty sure that guy's gonna deliver the car, isn't he? Anyway, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos. And my name is Nabin Ray Pro, and I'm off. Fuck you, Rain.